What's going on, YouTube? Brandon. Uh, just we got a subject today that I, I feel I need to touch on. Um, you know, I got some people that are going through some stuff out in uh, Arvada currently, and they have requested uh, my insight on something. Um, the question is very simple. Uh, what addiction was the hardest for you to kick? To answer your question, all of them. There wasn't one that was harder than the other, in my opinion. That's my opinion. Um, some people have their drug of choice, which I do as well. And I also know that some people have the ability to turn things on and off. It's that simple. Um, in my experience, um, all of them are equal in some way or another. Um, they've all created some sort of monster that you're not accustomed to being, that nobody expects you to be. And especially family members and people that know you, they know when something's not right. Um, you become reserved, you shut down. I mean, there's some tall tale signs, you know, of whatever it is you're going through. And I feel like that's with whatever it is. If you're called out on something, I feel like you're not ready to stop. You're gonna hide it and you're gonna do whatever you can to hide it. And that's what it comes down to. That's where you start developing this anti-social life where you're not talking to nobody. You'd li rather keep to yourself because you're consumed. And the hardest part about addiction and what people are going through is when you're hooked, you're hooked. You don't have the ability to quit. You don't have the ability to stop. When you're going through whatever you're going through in life and you turn to something, it's, it, drugs, alcohol, whatever it is, um, and you don't moderate it, it will consume you. It will take over. I've, uh, I'm walking proof of that. You know, uh, Gangish Oyster Sauce, please follow him. But I know on his page, you know, he's talking about, you know, Pier 1. And I know he just dropped a video. Please go check it out, support him. But the video pretty much touched base on what it is that we went through in the program. And I actually happened to go through my entire course with that that dude. Um, I consider him my friend. Um, I consider him family because of what we had to go through in there. Um, it's that it's that nuts. There's things that um, you know you hear stories and stuff, but you really don't you really don't develop emotions or anything like that until you experience it yourself. And I think, uh, you know, I heard stories all the time. And once I went, I have my own version of things. Um, was it hard? Absolutely. It was one of the hardest things that I've ever had to do in my life. Um, to this day, nothing has been harder. Waking up every day, having to make your bed a certain way, having to have your room a certain way, having to have your clothes color coordinated, having to set the table a certain way, um, having to march down the hallway a certain way, when you feel like the world's ending because you've been using and now life's smacking you right in the fucking face. Nothing's getting easier, it's just getting harder and harder. It just keeps stacking up, stacking up, but you keep turning to the same thing and it just keeps going the same direction, but worse. It, you've, you've lost your moral compass, your, your values, and what life is supposed to be about. I mean, I'm gonna ask everyone this question, and you know, you're gonna answer in the comments page or not, but when you're addicted to something, how many times do you actually look up and look at the clouds how many times do you look at nature 
when you see a deer cross and you know you're in a forest and you know how many times you go fishing like fishing is one of my go-to's it's one of my stress relievers i try to go with fishing whenever i'm feeling a certain way or i need to escape from something you know fishing is my outlet that's where i go for peace that's what i do that's my peace and serenity and now i get to share that with my children and to, to see them do it with me is just that much more peaceful for me. You know, that's exactly what I wanted to do as a father.